we are all here, crammed in a small room with a nautical name and you've all just paid to be pleasured by strangers. And that can surely only mean one thing. It's time for more now, come in, it's a f***ing night! If you've been having a little drink tonight, give me a cheer. My name's Stevie Ray and I run Balls Out Comedy Club. Balls Out Comedy is a night for mainly new upcoming acts where they get a platform to perform new works. Uh, there's an opportunity for established acts to do new material as well. I just want it to be a night where people are going to see something completely different that they wouldn't usually see. And also it's um, only a fiver to get in so it gives most people a chance to see comedy. A lot of shows are more expensive than that. And it provides improvisational comedy as well and a lot of people who see stand-up I've never seen improv before, so it gives them a chance to experience something completely different. Uh, this next one is called uh, Antisocial Network. Don't ask if I'm on Facebook, it's an utter waste of space. Look! 47 people I've accepted through politeness. I've had to scroll down page after page of shiteness. <laughs> My mouse hand crippled by arthritis and 47 people like this. Here's a photo of my dinner. LOL. <laughs> it's all such a load of utter bolts. Oaks. Thank you. Guys that we've already had at previous Balls Out, at Giraffe, a fantastic sketch show, uh, three times up at Edinburgh, five star reviews. And we've also had the privilege of having Ross McGrain, a brilliant upcoming stand-up comedian who recently supported Russell Kane in front of 16,000 people at Kiss Pavilion. So, very happy with both of those acts and plenty more where that came from. Please give an awesome, huge, warm, balls out welcome, otherwise, you know, you will hurt because he's f***ing dangerous, to Prisoner 910321! The format for Balls Out Comedy Club is very simple. In the first half, you have three completely different types of acts, whether they be stand-up comedian, sketch show, poet, whatever, and I compare that half. And then in the second half, we have those acts come back on stage together with me, and we do a big, fat f***ing improv finale for you guys, where you get to choose the characters, you get to colour the scenarios, give reasons for a meeting, give reasons for an argument, uh, uh, strange, make us go on strange adventures. Um, so if at any time you think the show in the second half has been like really fucking awful, then that's completely your fault. You fucked up. So, Mr. Uh, Boris, um, <coughs> Go Fiddler, thank you for good coming. Evening. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Glad to see you. Um, you're looking radiant, sir. Radiant. Radiant. You look like yes. you're in radiant. room 12. <laughs> rude, very rude. Uh, thank you for sharing your very uh, busy schedule with me for these few fleeting moments that we have here uh, under Mother Nature's gaze. To pulls uh... uh, out can go anywhere it wants. We sold out uh, throughout 2015, and we're already booked in for 2016 and selling that out, which is great. Um, based here at the Kiss Pavilion, uh, I'd like to turn the balls out comedy into a brand where it can be taken to other venues, not just Essex based, so looking into going towards places into London who are interested in new upcoming fresh acts, venues that are interested in new comedy. If after seeing this clip you still don't think it's worth fucking five pounds of your fucking money to see uh, two hours of great fucking entertainment, then you're fucking dead. You're fucking dead on the inside. You're fucking waste of space. You're a piece of shit. I don't want you to come to my club. I'll pay you fucking five pounds to fuck off as far away as fucking possible, or at least fucking Canvey Island. Get the fuck out of my life.